Hi everybody, it's Viper GTS, and today we have a pretty uncommon ration. These are Republic of China Taiwanese Army rations. This is a field ration A, contains uh, right around 1500 calories. Date code is kind of hard to decipher, but I think it's a 2019. And then here we've got the self-heating lunchbox, which is uh, only 250 calories, but it's extremely heavy. So let's open this up, see what's inside of here, and then also find out why this is so heavy with such a low calorie count. Let's first take a look at Field Ration A. Wow, look at all this stuff. All right. On top we got some energy gel. Looks like 180 calories. And a whole bunch of these says milk biscuits one two three what's that seven seven packs of milk biscuits four appear to be hard candies so probably ginger pack of dried cranberries three of these little energy bars um, small wet nap. Cool, little pack of chocolate syrup. And last is a small pack of jerky. Probably pork. And let's get some of the stuff opened up. Plenty of biscuits and crackers here. I'm not going to definitely eat all these, so let's just open up one or two. Got a nice little sweet smell to it. Let's open up one more. They're in great shape too. Alright, one of these energy bars. Looking for a calorie count. Don't really see one. It smells about the same. Kind of like a bran cinnamon little hint of fruit. Let's just open up one of those. And I did translate this quickly, and it does say refreshing white grape flavor. Special drink to supply carbohydrates, equivalent to a rice ball. All right. I gave it a little shake, too. And I grabbed an Australian spoon, because this does not come with a spoon. Hmm. Interesting. Kind of like a fruit jelly, sort of, but it's very, very runny. And then the pork jerky. Looks like you get three slices of that, very stuck together. Yep, definitely pork. Has a slight teriyaki style sweet smell to it. And some dried cranberries. Small 15 gram pack. And then one of those candies. bit stuck to the wrapper. Hmm. Doesn't have a smell to it, so I guess we'll find out. And the chocolate spread has a small tear notch on it. Wonder if you could make a drink out of this. Probably. Alright. It's pretty runny, but it is quite a warm day out here today. Let's try that. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a milk chocolate. Put some on here, too. Not bad flavor. It's pretty much like a dessert. And I didn't try the milk biscuit by itself. It's very much like a cookie. It's got slight sweetness to it. A little bit of vanilla. Not bad. And then this by itself. Softer texture, not much sweetness to it, and these little flecks of fruit, you really can't tell they're there. After a few more bites of this, it does have a slight cinnamon flavor to it, but very, very slight. And then that pork jerky. 
bit sticky. A little bit of teriyaki flavor to it. Not much. No salt. And these are about the same as they're always going to find everywhere else. Yep, just a cranberry. Nothing out of the ordinary. And this is interesting. It'd be better if it was a little more gel. I don't know if gelified's a word, but it's quite liquidy. Has almost no flavor. Very, very slight hint of grape. But it says it's good for you. And again, this really doesn't come with a drink of any kind. Um, the pork jerky does kind of grow on you. It has a slight barbecue flavor to it as well. And let's try out this mystery candy. Yep, definitely a ginger candy. Not bad. So if you get a big handful of the cranberries, you can tell there's a whole lot of sugar added to them. But it's good that way, so I don't mind. Let's grab some more of that chocolate too. It's very runny. Put the last of our cranberries on there. Nice bite. So this is really pretty much an on-the-go type of snack. I'm surprised it has 1,500 calories. That is quite a lot. But this chocolate spread is great. All right, let's finish this up and then move on to our self-heating lunchbox. That chocolate spread does make a bit of a mess. And this is, uh, it's moist, but barely. Not bad quality, though. All right, let's get that hot meal going. So this should be pretty awesome. Pork curry. Field heating lunchbox. It does have a tear notch, but I'm going to use a knife on the back here. Again, 250 calories, but very heavy. Oh, got ourselves a little heating, a little eating tray here. Not going to need this. Oh, okay, here's a spoon. And this is going to be the pork curry. Look at the graphics on that. And this says rice pouch. Some more cool graphics. Here is the heating element. Okay. Big pack of water. And then this must be the heater bag. <laughs> Look at the artwork. That's awesome. All right, let's get this fired up. So I've eaten a lot of rations, but I can't say I've ever had any that had artwork like this. It's pretty cool. So let's get this heater kicked off. Asian rations tend to have some of the best heaters you can possibly get. So let's see if this one's any different. Big heating element. And put in our pork curry. And the big pack of rice. And the activation water. And seal her up. Alright, and the little heating tray did come with a spoon and also a very tiny little napkin. That only took about 10 seconds, so let's wait about 15 minutes and we should have some really hot food. It's been 15 minutes, but it's still going strong, so I guess I'll give it a couple minutes more. Okay, so it's all done. This might be too hot to even touch, but as we'll find out. Nice and steamy. Yep, very hot. Let's try this rice. Uh oh. Should slide right out. And then the pork curry. 
Very liquidy. Not having luck with these tear notches today. Okay. See some carrots, potatoes, and then nice chunks of pork. Here's a close up for you guys. It has a nice light curry smell to it. You can see the potatoes, the big chunks of pork in there, and also some carrot. So while I was stirring the rice, we did have a bit of a casualty. It wasn't that great of a spoon anyway. So I pulled out the Australian spoon again. Looks fantastic, smells great. Oh yeah, the curry flavor is actually a lot stronger than it is for, um, you know, based on the smell. Because smell-wise, there wasn't much to it, but flavor's right on. Huh? Potatoes are all, you can tell they're, you know, they're cut all different shapes, so they're not like machine cut from what I can tell. Nice and soft, but still have a bit of a bite to it. Try some of that pork by itself. Minimal processed, great product. Let's grab a bite with everything. The rice is still pretty firm, you gotta break it up quite a bit. I thought maybe the heating would um, loosen it up, but it really didn't. A little bit of pork, a little bit of potato. Great meal. Maybe a touch of salt would help. Black pepper would definitely help, but doesn't really need it. The field heating lunchbox did weigh quite a bit. I'd say maybe just under two pounds. And that was because it did have four ounces of water in it, and the main was full of liquid, the rice is heavy, and also that massive heating element. But that heating element was great because the meal is, is perfectly hot. It works a lot better than the US ones. I am really shocked that they only have this marked as 250 calories though because it's a substantial meal. And it, I don't know, I'd assume it at least have 500, maybe more, but 250. So I'm gonna finish every bit of this, but thanks for watching guys. This has been a 2019 Taiwan Republic of China field ration A as well as the self-heating lunchbox menu pork curry. Thanks, guys. See you later.